hello friends welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to discuss the part 2 of the bi project where i am going to show you how bi project works in the real work environment and very essential factor in this particular video is the row level security which is considered as very important factor if you are working on any bi project okay so this is part 2 so if you have not seen the part one then i will give the link in the description you can go and check that later okay so let's start with this topic row level security so meaning of the row level security is nothing but the restricting of the data based on the different user levels okay for example i have a dashboard and this dashboard contain the data belongs to all regions let's say us region canada region emea apj okay so like this the data is present from all the region into this particular dashboard okay let's say this is the tableau dashboard now this tableau dashboard is shared on tableau server okay let's say this is a tableau server and for this tableau server on a particular file this dashboard is i mean in a particular folder this dashboard is shared now this dashboard contain the entire data okay so different users from the different region can access this data by default I mean they can access the entire data by default and that is a problem let's say this is the four users and this is for Canada region this is from US region this is the EMR region and this one from the APJ region so these four guys can access the entire data I mean the guy from the Canada can have the details of US data also EMA data also and APG data also so this can lead a uh, security issues in future and that is why row level security is very very important okay so here our goal is to restrict the data based on the user region level for example if this this guy is from Canada should have the data of the Canada I mean he should access the data from Canada also in particular in this dashboard if this is a US then this guy from US can only access the US data for from this particular dashboard likewise okay irrespective of all the data okay so based on the user we have to configure the low row level security so how do we can configure this so while before publishing this dashboard we have one option under the server so in server you will see publish option then user filter option there is one option present in the tableau called as user filter and uh, based on your other bi tool there could be a little bit different options will be there but you can check that out in your particular tool so under the user filter you will see the list of the users here in particular in this pop-up you will see the list of the user and at other side you will see the uh, level of the data it could be region it could be depending upon the different categorical data present in the data you will see those field over here i mean the field present in the data you will be reflected here so you have to select let's say it is a region you have to select region then under the region you will see the different region available like canada us ema or apj likewise so simply what you have to do you have to select the username here and for that user you have to select the region that only this user needs uh, have to be accessed basically 
and likewise you can configure for all users so this is based on a individual users okay for individual user you can for each user you can do this you can follow these steps and assign a user level filter for each user and then you have to save it and then you have to publish this worksheet to the tableau server so when you publish then based on your user level filter this user will be able to access the respective data only they will not be access the data from the different region basically okay so this is how the row level security is been implemented in the tableau and uh, this happens i mean this is a good approach when the number of users are limited okay so let's say you have hundreds of user or 200 of user then to implement row level security for each user is a bit difficult okay you it is very hard to you know implement each and every user filter for each and every users so it is very difficult so in that case we go with the grouping option so in that case what, what we do i'll quickly show you let me delete this so let's say we have 200 users i'll just this is user number one and this is user number 200 okay so in the tableau server we will give the access to all users okay and while giving the access what we will do we will give the access in in form of grouping we will do the grouping based on the level of access okay so let's say we, we create group one for read only and we will assign 50 users to this group one then we'll create another group then we will apply 150 users will fall in this particular group let's say this is two groups okay so now we we know uh, we have two groups then again in we will what we'll do we will go into the our tableau worksheet and we will create calculated field and in the calculated field we will use is member of keyword and we will mention our group one and group two in the true false logic let's say uh, for the group one we have to restrict data of the us region and give the access for all the region and for 150 users uh, they will be able to only access us region and not for all other region so likewise we can implement that logic in the calculated field let's say if the is number of the group one then it will be ema apj and uh, canada and for group two ills ills group two two or if ills group two us ills two so like that we can implement the similar kind of logic in the calculated field and we will drag this calculated field to the worksheet filter in the filter we have filter option over here in the tableau so in the filter we will drag this and what we'll do we'll go to the setting and apply using the same data source so whatever worksheets are belong to same data source that filter will be applied to all worksheet and then we can upload this worksheet to the server and then whoever belongs to whatever group they will be access they will be able to access the respective data based on their filter okay so this is how we implement the role level security for large number of users so i hope this point is pretty clear uh, i'm not able to show this into my local system because uh, the local version of the tableau desktop uh, is not showing that option into my system but when you work on real work environment uh, you will have the license copy and you will have the active server of the tableau so in the server option you will be able to find the user level filter i mean user filter option and you can implement that further and also uh, there is lots of resources available 
on the internet you can refer that for the clear understanding so hope you found this video useful if anyone asks you in the interview like if you have implemented the role level security or not so if you answer like this it will be fair enough for cracking the interview and for that particular question this answer is fair enough if you explain them like this that will be fair enough for them okay so hope you find this video useful if you have any question doubts you can feel free to ask in the comment section you can follow me on linkedin and if you are facing any issue on the tableau dashboard development and you're struggling to implement any logic or stuck in anywhere in the tableau desktop environment you can con contact me and uh, we can discuss it together and it will be a good learning for everyone okay guys so i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye